Dumb. Cool. Weird. Podcast. 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 Shoot, I just heard of this thing called bisexual privilege. Wait, that's a thing? That's a thing. What? Apparently, apparently, apparently that, that uh, if you, if you're a <laughs> bisexual person, you're dating the opposite sex. Uh-huh. It's considered you have a bisexual privilege because you have the appearance of being straight. Oh, that's weird. Um, technically, I'm bisexual. Yeah, same. Um, I'm more on the asexual spectrum, I guess. But like, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely like, definitely bisexual though. Just like people. That's that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. And I think the reason why I'm more asexual now is because uh, because of kind of what we're talking about. Things have changed in the past like couple of decades, and dating for me is very different. I remember being a teenager in the early 2000s and um dating was a different game back then there was you didn't have all these apps and shit that you have now you know yeah you actually had to go out and work for like a date yeah yeah you, <clears throat> you literally had to go work for a date and you had some primitive stuff like on the computer but you had to be on the computer you weren't like out in the field like with your buddies yeah. on a phone <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> we're not in a field operation out yeah. here with the phones yeah. and the dating <laughs> yeah like like now it's like um you know we have uh we have we have basically like um you know we have all these different apps but back then it was like you you would go on face facebook and myspace and you may be able to get a date that way, but they had dating websites, but they were so cringy, convol- like cringy, convoluted, and people didn't always have photos and stuff all the time. It was really bizarre. It's kind so, of a good way to get Craigslist killed. Yeah, exactly. So basically, what we would do is we would go to different places, and that's how we would get you know our um, dates. We would go to yeah, like a bowling alley, or we'd go to a club, or something like that. Or a party. Yeah. And you'd have your phone. You'd be like, hey, let me get your number. You get their number, and then you go date them, you know? Or it turns out it's the sheriff's department. And now you have a weird conversation with Deputy Jackass. Yeah. And that's never fun. No. But that's kind of how dating was when I was a teenager, though. It was really just you had to actually meet people in person physically most of the time. And when you – basically, when you did meet them online, it was no vetting process. You would immediately go meet them right away. Yeah. Now it's like you have to text somebody for like millions of years just to get them to come meet you. And even then they're really weird about meeting you. And it's just like, I don't know, it's just very different, you know? I think there's sort of like a little bit of the magic is lost when you're, when you don't like get, do, when you finish all, of, all the small talk and then you have to get like deep dive right in there when you're actually meeting that person. It's like you're, you're going from almost spilling your heart out online through Facebook Messenger these days. So when you meet the person, you're like, shit, what do I talk about? Yeah, exactly. Thanks for checking out the Dumb Cool Weird podcast. Go to our website, www.dumbcoolweird.com, to check out our merch and all our social media links. If you want to check out how to support us and our audio podcasts only and an access to our website and all of our other links for our social media, go to linktree.com, which has Dumb Cool Weird podcast. The link is up below. Hope you guys will check us out. We have new content coming out every single Monday. We have new content coming out every single day. Check it for 9 a.m. Clips reactions, whatever. We got it coming for you. Hope you come out. Check it out. Stay sexy, Atlanta, and keep watching our crap.